this leaf. Well, today, I don't know what we're making. Let's see where it goes. If you enjoy what I'm doing, want to support me, I have made a Patreon that would go a long way to help me. Let's go for a Crusader Sword. So we're f just flushing it out right now. When I make weapons, I tend to do it from my head because I've looked at them for a while. Not everyone has that gift, if you want to call it a gift. It's a bit of a skill. But. It's definitely useful to constantly look at weapons. Alright. We're gonna want this to be a bit bigger. And I'm thinking. Just merge these vertexes. Crusader sword. Oh, um, I guess. Edge mode. Hmm. It's looking pretty good so far, but we need, still need to do more. Double, nope. Double click. Merge to center. Bring the tip up. Texas out a bit. We are going to add more faces later. Ah, fuck. Just delete these. Control. 
control delete there we go all right we're gonna bring these into the Control Z is because it'll go back and reselect whatever faces I had selected. No, go back to object mode. Something that movies and TV shows often get wrong is that with two handed swords or long swords, you need to do a wide swing with them. You don't want to do that. That's stupid. Why would you do that? The goal of the sword is to attack and to be able to defend at the same time. You can block very strong attacks with a one handed grip or a two handed grip. choices here. So we're going to, you have two choices. One, never mind, not that. And do an edge loop. You can do an edge loop right here. Then go to vertex mode and decide to, damn it, vertex mode. Decide to merge these to their center What that'll do for the sword is allow you to have a little bit of room down by the guard Put your finger over the guard and get a different kind of grip Or you can get rid of that edge loop Which if you do that Do it then just do this. Wrong button. Um, what I'm doing here is I have my merge to center set up on a hotkey so I don't have to keep on clicking up here and then coming back down. We're going to want to shape out the rest of this before we add any divisions, because I have a plan. R. No, just R. Bring it in a little 
little bit. There we go. Bevel. Can we do two and get away with it? Not so much. Alright. We're gonna put an edge loop out here. Go back to edge mode Q to unselect the insert edge loop tool. Now bevel. Two. Yeah. We're gonna make these a little more pronounced. Looking good. Nope. Bring that down just a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Now we don't want the guard to be super thick, so we are going to do this face by face. For a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, edge. We're going to bring these out a bit. And we are going to do that. Yeah, there we go. Shift. There we go. Now look at that. That's looking much better. Face. Alright, we're going to double click. Attribute editor. Modeling toolkit. Add divisions. Alright. Before we go any further, save scene as. Desktop. I models. Crusader sword. Alright. Hmm. Edge mode. All right, I know what we're doing. All right, we're gonna drag and select, shift, drag and select, shift, drag and select. And we're gonna give it what it, what's called a blood groove. Look at that nice profile of a sword. All right. Drag and select, drag, drag, drag. <coughs> Something in my mouth. It shouldn't be there. Alright, now we're gonna go back into inside the blade. 
R. Just a little bit. There we go. Look at that. There, can I get a front view? From the other way? Show. Uh, view. View along axis, this is... Oh yeah. Well, that was, that's not going to work too well. <laughs> well, you can see the shadow. Alright. Oh dear, what is going on? Yeah. Nope. Oh boy, what the hell have I done? There we go. All right, all is back to normal. I'll save scene. Give you a minute to catch up, just in case. Alright. We don't need this. Crusader sword after all. Hmm, excuse me. There we go, yeah. Now if we had some cleaner areas here we could do a normal crusader cross but for now what we have is good always save all right now let's start coloring this piece let me think about what i want to do Face mode, so like a blade, new material. Let's do fongies today. Control, we don't need that. We don't need anything there. We don't need that. Sign your material. Fong. I'm 
really sure what I just did. Edge. Alright. No. Okay, you know what? Just screw it. We'll do it this way. Easier to do it up here. No, probably select it more than we needed to. All right, here we go. We're going. We're getting there. You gotta be very careful. Now, notice I'm not just clicking on them. I'm dragging to select them. That selects both sides. If you don't do that, well, you're not doing it right. sure we don't have anything we don't want selected selected no no sign new material we're gonna do a fog don't worry I haven't forgotten about the handle we're gonna do a little Lambert today all right falling to Specular color? No. Make it a little darker. Yeah, that looks like gold. Alright, phone one. something else we want to do. We'll do an edge loop. No. Never mind. We're just going to do face mode then. Bevel. Let's see. Alright. We just want to bevel the edges. Let's see what that does. Not exactly. Now I do not advise doing this, but we're gonna see. Nah. Mm. All right. Oh, nope. just gonna go to our Lambert. the wrong one. Lambert 2 is what we want. Let's do Crusader Red. It's about Crusader Red. Uh, 
this is the somewhat frustrating part. It's the rest of the, the edges of the blade. Now you don't have to do a separate material color or whatever for the edges of the blade. It just adds to its look. So what we do want to do is make this a little, a little better, a little more rounded. You see, it looks more rounded now. Palm three. There we go. Look at that. We're going to give it a mirror finish. Maximum reflectivity. Go a little blue with that. So this will be Fong E1. So we do want a bluish steel or purplish. Go for a little bit of there we go. No. Hmm. Specular color. Now look at that. It's a beautiful sword. The edges are a bit too blue for your liking. You could always go back to R. Fong 3. And not give it so much blue. No. Select it. There we go. All right. No. Come on. There we go. Save scene. Look at that. That's a nice sword. Alright. I'll save again. Render. What do I want to do? Let's do a point light. Bring it up. Bring it over. Press T just to get the little aiming knobs and we just wanna see how well this does all right before we do that you're gonna go into these settings and go down to HD you're gonna select 1080 close I don't know, render. You don't need to be that big. Alright. So we're gonna 
halt the render for now. Select this. I'm going to go to Arnold. Let's do exposure. Alright, now that's not enough. Let's increase the exposure. Let's try 10. Alright. Now I did something wrong. This is what I did wrong. You always want something underneath it. So we're going to assign new material. Blend. Let's make it... Uh, make it green. Alright. Okay, you don't want to, don't want to cooperate? Okay. Cone angle. How do you like that apple? Them apples. T. Give you over here. Gonna play. Alright. So you may not be able to see it too well. But the blade is reflective. Actually, I'm sure we can demonstrate that better. New material. Fong. R. Make you smaller. Bring you down. Bring you over. Ah, oh. Hold up. When you're zoomed in real close and you zoom out, it will zoom out so far. Play. We got a reflective blade. Now remember, none of this will, none of the materials will, will, as far as I have experienced, will transfer well to Unreal. So, I do advise you having some material packs and all that jazz in Unreal. Just in case, you can see cube is reflective too, the blade's reflective. Let's take a look at our hill. Alright, looking good. Oh, it's, whoa there, whoa there. And it's technically we're not using these anymore. Just delete them, file, save, there you have it, a crusader sword. If you want a sheath, leave a, a message in the comments and I will upload a tutorial on a sheath. Or scabbard, whatever they want to call it. I so many terms. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you feel up to it. I don't, I, I mean, I'm hoping I get more, but if you don't, that's alright. If you're able and you're willing, please support my Patreon. And I will post the links to the music that I've been listening to while doing this in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.